Hello, welcome back. So in Django, the meta class defines extra attributes of our model. None of these are required. Adding class meta to the model is completely optional. In this tutorial, I want to introduce to you seven meta class options. Django by default uses the class name as the database table name. Now we can override that by using the meta option db underscore table and then just defining the new name. So the model database table name is normally constructed by the joining models app label and the name of the class. So because we've used a DB table, we're overwriting that. And now we should have a table called, or a class in fact, called pets. And you can see here that we've overridden um, the name animal here. So I've inspected the, the table or the database. Um, so if you go into the, the terminal and type in manage.py inspect db, that will allow you to inspect the default MySQL Lite 3 database um, that's attached to your default Django app when you first open up Django. So that's a simple example there of db tables. So next up is ordering. So here we can define the default query set order. So for example, we run a query on this database, the ordering of the information is going to be defined by the ordering. In this example, although we don't have a field called publish date, imagine this table here did have published date. When we return data from this table, it would be in published date order. So we can also change the parameter here by including this prefix. So we can indicate descending order or ascending, depending how we want to return the data. So it is possible to extend the ordering with more parameters. So in this example here, we are ordering by published date ascending and then by author ascending. So the next up is get latest by. So the default model manager has a latest method. So here it returns the latest object in the table by date using the field name provided as the date field. Now we can define uh, or provide the date field by using the get latest by. So here we name the field, the orderable field in the model. This is going to be typically the date field or the date time field. Um, so that we can specify the default field to use in the model's latest method. So next up, if we have a look at the, the model or the table, sorry, inside the Django administration, you can see it takes the, the name animals. So going back here, it takes the name of the class. So we can change that by using the verbose name. In this case, I change it to dog. So now when I update my tables, you can see it now changes to dogs. Notice how the system changes the name from a singular to a plural. It adds the S on the end. So we can use the meta area for the plural option. So we can define the plural option of our table's name. And here, just for example, I've typed in dog um, dash S and you can see when I refresh, it now changes. So next, let's have a look at the abstract option. So here we can build an abstract table and then the student can then inherit all the properties from the abstract table. So here, student is inheriting name and age attributes into this table. So if you now run a make migrations and migrate and then view the tables you'll now see here for example poll students so this is students remember it takes the app name and then the name of the class because i haven't defined the name of the table and then you can see here we have um, name and age that's been included from the common info table inherited and then we have the home group also the final example 
is utilizing constraints in the meta section. So here we've got an example of a constraint, which is really just an advanced query. So we import Q, the Q object, which provides us a little bit more control and enable us to create these extended or advanced queries. And here what I've done is I've selected home group and I just want to make sure that it, the home group only allows the word home in the field. So we can only enter home into this field. So we can see that in action here. So we can see that if we try to enter something into the database that isn't home and press save, we get a error. So if we go back and now type in the word home and press save, you can see it was successful. So that's just an example of a constraint which you can explore further. In fact, there was one more. It was required DB vendor. So this is a really simple one to understand. Here you can define what DB vendor that we should be using or this database is designed for. So here we can specify SQL Lite, Postgrad, MySQL or Oracle. So that's the required DB vendor specifying what um, database this database is being designed for. So that concludes this introduction to meta options given or used in a model. So here, as you've seen, we've looked at ordering, get latest by, required DB vendor, DB table, constraints and verbose names.